Welcome to Travel to Britain with Lex. Look how lovely this nice dark rainy backdrop is. Yeah, it's fucking cold, it's fucking wet, it's dark, it's horrible. I don't want to be training, don't feel like I've got the energy for it. So what do we do? 300 training, baby! What is 300 training? I'll tell you. 300 training is 300 reps of set exercises. We're gonna do 50 reps of each exercise. This totals up to 300 after you've done the six exercises. Make sense? And we're gonna be doing this because it forces you to work. It's functional and it boosts cardio. This isn't timed, but it is. So you're gonna be doing reps, but the idea is to try and do it as fast as possible without sacrificing technique. So you don't try and gain a better time by doing cheat reps. Nuh uh, we try and keep the reps clean all the way through. It encompasses six exercises. Pull ups, floor cleaners, deadlifts, kettlebell presses, and press ups. So we're gonna be hitting the body from head to toe, but we're also gonna be pushing that cardio system. The reason I'm picking to do this on a cold, dark ass day when I don't wanna be training is because it forces me to work. There's no way around it, but on a double whammy, you should be able to get this shit done in under 30 minutes. The goal, under 20 minutes. So this is 300 reps, a killer workout, if possibly under 20 minutes, let's go. Getting myself in the zone to do this, but this is how it's gonna roll. You start with your pull-ups. 15 total, but you're gonna do 25 at the beginning, 25 at the end, so there your bookends to the workout. It goes deadlifts, floor cleaners, press-ups, jumping squats, kettlebell cleaning presses, and finish on those pull-ups again. This is not an easy workout by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a grinder. Doesn't matter if you take longer than the 20 minutes. Doesn't matter if you take longer than 30 minutes. Just get through this. Break the mental boundaries. When you're on the floor, when you're feeling like you can't go on, keep saying to yourself, get up, get up, lift the weight, lift the weight. This is a great training exercise for breaking those mental boundaries as well as pushing the physical. So you're gonna see me in pain here. I am not gonna be good at this. I used to be able to do this in sub 15 minutes because I was good at it because I did it a lot and I did functional exercises like this a lot and that's what I wanna try and get back to. So incorporating this into your routine maybe once or twice a week. You can do this as a finishing thing, or you can do this as an extreme warm up to maybe a light high volume workout afterwards. Either way, if you get this in there, it will let you know where you stand in terms of fitness and in terms of your functionality, and in terms of your ability to be able to adapt to new training. Well, trust me, give it a go. I'm gonna give this all I've got and I'm gonna look like I'm dying, but without struggle, without sacrifice, without failure, we cannot be successful because it's from these that we learn, progress, and set new goals. So let's hit the gym. Begin the crying. <laughs> I mean, manly. Urgh. <laughs> Keep it going, son. Let's get it. Ah! 
How's it going? Then <sighs> 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 you do shit like this, you realize how my feet are. Oh, might be able to do rounds on the back. Might be able to do like, whatever it is, swimming or whatever you used to. But we still find comfort zone. Oh my god. Cool. Cool. I need to do this when I was fighting. I can get 10, 10, 10. Now I'm going to do 5, 5, 5. Let me do it. Show to show the progression that needs to be made. Ooh. Get up. Maybe. Come on, mother. Come on. Come on, bitch. Oh, oh, slow as shit. We'll get better. It does look like a little bum. Anyway, <laughs> we're back home. As you can tell, we're not in the gym anymore. The session was done. It was a killer. Doing numerous times in that workout, I was literally on the floor telling myself to get up. Like I told you, it's a boundary breaker. Give it a go, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Try and put it in at least once a week and just you'll start to see that edge in progression, how the reps just get a little more each time before you have to take a break, how the time starts to just creep down. It becomes a little bit addictive, but again, it's just introducing you more to that functional world, to being able to be adaptable and being more athletic. That is the goal of 2018, to not be a tunnel visioned, just pick up the weight, put the weight down. No. fitness. It encompasses not just a gym, it's about the lifestyle, it's about the health. It's about creating longevity for staying looking how we want to look. There's no point in, like so many of these guys, bodybuilders especially, really notorious for this, is they look great for their career, but once they start to drop off, they just stop everything because all they had was that one thing. There was no other facet, there was no other avenue that they were taking at the time. So when they stop that one thing, they lose everything. And that's what we don't want. So with that said, 
It took me about 22 minutes to get through that, which is shockingly different to the times I got, which was sub 15 minutes. So a lot of progressions have been made there, but set myself that challenge and I will be undertaking it. If you have any questions regarding this, hit me up in the comment section below. Also make sure to hit this notification bell below. If you're on the mobile, I don't know where it is, but if you're on your desktop, I think it's here. Well there. Because there's an issue with the channel at the moment, YouTube are attempting to fix it, we don't know what's wrong, but for some reason, videos aren't being shared. You guys aren't being notified. So with this, at least, it's a direct contact from me to you, you'll know exactly when I upload a video, and you don't miss out on any of this information. Other than that, I think I can just go and lie down now for the rest of the evening. So, thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Lex, I'll catch you in the next one. We out.